Now we're going to talk about logical, also known as Boolean operations um, in MATLAB. Um, so the first part of this is just going to be an overview of logical and Boolean operations, and then we'll look at how they play out in MATLAB with vectors. Uh, the constants in logical Boolean operations are uh, true and false. So the result of a logical or Boolean operation will either be true or false. So you only have one of two possible answers. Um, true and false are also noted um, in MATLAB as 1 and 0. Um, that can get a bit confusing. You have to pay attention to the class or the type of the variable you're talking about. And we'll, we'll get more depth to that as we go on. Um, there are some basic operators. Those are the two constants. Uh, there's some basic operators. There's the operator equal to, which answers the question, are two values equal to each other? So I could do uh, is 2 equal to 4. And that's asking the question, are these two values equal to each other? This will evaluate to false or 0. I could say is 4 equal to 4. And that will evaluate to true or 1. Okay. Um, other operators, so that's the equal to. Uh, there's also the not equal to, which is this little squiggly thing, sign um, is called the tilde. And um, it's located uh, on the key that's to the left of the one key on your computer. Um, so you do the tilde, then the equal sign. Um, and so that's the not equal to. So this is, uh, let me go up here, equal to. This is not equal to. So if I did 2 not equal to 4, that actually is true. Or 1. Uh, if I did 4 not equal to 4, that's actually false. Because 4 is equal to 4, and so the 4 not equal to 4 evaluates to false. Uh, so that's the not equal to. Um, we have greater than. All right, so this is greater than. So is 2 greater than 4? That's false. Is 4 greater than 2? That's true and so on and so forth. Is 4 greater than 4? That's false. Okay. Likewise, we have greater than or equal to. I know in math, you're used to seeing it look something like this, uh, but that's hard to do with the computer, and so it looks like this in a computing language. Uh, so this is greater than or equal to and this is, so if I did, is 2 greater than or equal to 4. Once again, that's true. Is 4 greater than, whoops, that's wrong. Once again, that's false, excuse me. Is 4 greater than or equal to 2? Uh, that's true. Is 4 greater than or equal to 4? That's true. And that's the difference between the greater than or equal to or the greater than. Likewise, you have um, less than, and so um, is 2 less than 4, that's true, is 4 less than 2, that's false, is 4 less than 4, that's false. And then you have less than or equal to,
is 2 less than or equal to 4. That's true. Is 4 less than or equal to 2? That's false. And is 4 less than or equal to 4? That's true. Okay, so these six operators are the basic ones. Um, you'll see them over and over again. Uh, so let's, and there's some more to add to that, and I need some more space, so let me erase this. And I'll put them over here so that we can sort of keep an eye on them here. Uh, that's equal to, not equal to, greater than, greater than, equal to, less than, less than, equal to. Okay. Um, now I want to add um, a couple of other things. Um, there's the AND statement, which allows you to combine um, these operators. Um, there's OR. There's not, there's any, and there's all. Okay? Um, and so let's talk about each one of those. Um, the AND statement, the best way to talk about an AND statement and an OR statement, um, and also a NOT, uh, is to look in terms of what's called the truth table. And so let's do that. Uh, if we have two values a and b let me divide this up here uh, you can have four different cases you can have a being true excuse me a being false and b being false a and a and b uh, a and B. So if A is false and B is false, A and B is false. If A is false and B is true, A and B is still false. If A is true and B is false, A and B is false. If A is true and B is true, A and B is true. Okay? So these are the four different cases you can have with A and B. And this is the these are the uh, four different results you can get. So if once again, if A is false and B is false, A and B is false. If A is false and B is true, A and B is still false. If A is false, if A is true and B is false, A and B is false. If A is true and B is true, A and B is true. So with the AND statement, the only way to get a true result is everything has to be true. Which is also to say that with an AND statement, if any one thing is false, the result is false. Okay? Um, now let's go over here and look at the truth table for the OR statement. And I'm actually going to write that down here for sake of room. Um, yeah, let's do it this way. Okay, um, so once again we'll do a truth table, but now we're going to have A or B. And so um, if A is false or B is false, excuse me, if A is false and B is false, A or B is false. If A is true, oh, that's wrong, excuse me. If A is false and B is true, A or B is true. If A is true and B is false, A or B is true. If A is true, B is true, A or B is true. So uh, with the OR statement it can be said that 
if any one thing is true, the answer is true. And the only way to get a false is everything has to be false. So that's the OR statement. Now let's go over here to the NOT statement, which simply all the NOT does is turn true to false and false to true. So it only works on one. So if A is false, not A is true. If A is true, not A is false. Okay. You also have any. Well, let's do all first. Uh, all is very much like and. What all says is all is true if everything is true. Likewise, all is false if anything is false used on vectors. Uh, this all and any um, are very interesting. They show up in a lot of languages. Not a lot of people use them. But in MATLAB, uh, because we're working on vectors, they come in handy. If you want to see, check and see if all the things in a vector are true or non-zero, um, then you use all. Uh, because if everything is true or non-zero, uh, all will be true. If any one thing in a vector is uh, not true, or is zero, then all will be false. Likewise, we've got any, which is a lot like or. Uh, any is true if anything is true. If any one thing in a vector is true, then any is true. Any is false if everything is false. Okay? Um, these are the core uh, Boolean operations, not just inside of MATLAB, but for um, Boolean or logical operations, not just inside of MATLAB, for, but for um, just about anything. Uh, there's also, which I'll cover in the um, in the course, excuse me, in the MATLAB demonstration that goes along with this lecture, uh, I'll cover uh, another um, another function or Boolean function, which is also used in MATLAB. Um, I'll write it up here, which is called the find function, and uh, it's easier for me to describe how find works. Um, it's easier for me to discuss uh, how find works inside of MATLAB than it is to do it here, but this is a function that allows you to find things um, inside, of, uh, um, inside of a vector. So I'll get to that in the MATLAB part. The only other thing I want to point out are the symbols that go along with each of these. Um, um, so with AND, uh, you get the ampersand, whoops, something that looks like that. My ampersand is pretty bad. Um, so ampersand oops, goes along with the and statement. Uh, with or, you get the uh, the symbol is the straight up and down line, um, which actually can be found. Usually, it's the key that's to the right of the right hand bracket. It's got the uh, a slash on it. Um, it sits uh, between the backspace key and the inner key on most keyboards. So that's the vertical. Uh, it shows up on some keyboards as a double dash, uh, but actually when you type it in, it, it actually becomes the just the, um, the vertical line. So OR is the vertical line. Um, NOT is the tilde. Uh, we saw that up here, the NOT equals to. Uh, so not is the tilde there, um, and then all and any um, are just the words all and any. Um, so, and then there's also some confusion sometimes about the and statement. You can sometimes use a double ampersand, and the or you can use a double uh, vertical bar. 
uh, but we'll get into those a little bit later. That's a fine detail that we'll cover a little bit later. So this um, is a big overview of uh, logical and Boolean statements. Um, knowing this is a, is a basis core for any kind of computer science. Um, so get to know uh, this, particular, um, this particular frame of information.